Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Here's another video update of the build the 200 scale model of the RMS Titanic. Hey guys, so here's what has been going on lately. I just been working on a little bit on the sides right here to paint the black on again. Now it's more black right now. It's kind of nice flat black. It's not glossy black what it was before. Um, I did happen to got a little bit of marks right down in here. You guys can see this. Kind of when the paint leaked. Now, basically, I don't have uh, painter's tape. I wish I did, but the only thing I had was this. And this is the crappy version of the electrical tape that I used to have. So... What I've just basically been doing, I've basically been straightening up a little bit. Because you know in the last video that I had, and when I first got it, it was just warped and bent out. Or it was just bad when it was the box was damaged. So what I had just been doing, I just basically been getting my heat gun right here. And I got my, plier, my pliers right here and some of my helping hands that's in here. Heating this up, straighten this up a little bit, you know, just to get that nice, sturdy, make it nice and straight a little bit of what I could. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the progress of what has been going on. So, here is what the Titanic is looking like right now. You see, I got my pliers right here. And up there is basically glued in. So that is already secure. And I have to manage to get this secure. And would I still be able to go in there and put the rods in for the props? Hmm. Probably so. And there's a little spot right here I can drill the hole for the rudder. So you kind of see that it has straightened up a lot. There's a little bend right here I have to fix. And right around here. But this is basically pretty much straightened up of what it looks like now. Now, I have not been working on this part because I've been taking a break from it and because of the little rails I had to put into here and the little spots are around here to make this all complete. I have to wait till it gets warm to paint them. So, that is about it. Now, basically, guys, I've just been working on it off screen off camera little by little uh, so I can think of what I can what else I can do what else I cannot do and as a matter of fact I have been worried about if this thing would sink if I do put it in the lake and it was turning or whatever or capsize a little bit and war or the top falls off and it just sinks to the bottom now I don't want that to happen so what I happen to recommend um, I'm gonna go to the store and get some of this uh, stuff that they use for like oh what's it called flex seal uh, I'm going to spray the inside of it really nice and get that done that way it's nice and dry and it'll be strong as heck um, because the bottom right here when I was taking this off it kind of broke the bottom a little bit and I had to glue it back into place which that was real bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put flex seal on the inside. That way it will seal, be sealed up. It will not leak through. It will not do anything. And I'm going to put some foam on the front right here and foam on the other side right here. And then once I get the little mechanism that I can use to put all the electronics in, like the motors, the the batteries and the receivers and all that stuff to put right into here if it happens to capsize or starts to sink 
the electronics will flop right up and keep up float. That's what I really want to try to do. Um, I know I can get all that stuff online. I'm going to order it pretty soon. And I will show you guys what I'm going to do right here. And what I might do is I might end up mounting it onto this. That way when I lift that up, it can... Oh wait, that probably won't work. So... But, I don't know. We'll have to keep on going. But, I have been thinking about what I should use to mount the top portion. And, what I happen to thought is magnets. So, I was thinking about putting some magnets underneath of here. And, drilling the hole. And, putting the magnet in. Glue it into place. And, put some put plastic on it. That way, it can be on it and will not clamp off or break off or anything. Like what I did to my arc reactor. So I might go ahead and just do something like that. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys want to see more videos of the Titanic right here. Please uh, hit that subscribe button. And also smash that notification button. If you hit that little bell every time I upload a video. You can be notified. So also hope you guys like the video. Take care. Stay safe out there. And stay warm.